Welcome to today's webinar in the National President's Forum. I'm National Membership Director, Lisa Smothers. Joining me today are your Student Division Presidents, FBLA National President, Euro Wang, and PBL National President, Corbin Robinson. You may submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We celebrate career and technical education each year in February with CTE Month. How can members and advisors celebrate? Participate in your chapter's FBLA PBL Week activities this week. Most chapters will have an event or an activity for each day of FBLA PBL Week. Spread the word on social networks all month long by sharing your FBLA PBL story. Share your FBLA PBL story on Twitter, and of course 140 characters or less, and include the hashtag CTE Month and FBLA PBL Week. Write your FBLA PBL story on our national Facebook page or post it on your own page. Need some examples? Let's hear from our distinguished guests what FBLA PBL and career and technical education has done for them. Euro? Thank you, Ms. Mothers, um, and happy FBLA PBL week. Um, so for me, I moved to the United States in 2011 after being born and raised in South Korea. And having kind of a, a rocky middle school time, I didn't really find a community where I really belonged. And when I when I first got to high school, I saw FBLA, and it was just this group of people who were interested in business, something that I was interested in, and I decided to join. And since then, I found an incredible group of community, um, an incredible group of people who have guided me, who have mentored me, who have been there for me, who have supported me throughout the highs and lows. Um, to really everything. And that community has really been essential um, and instrumental in my development as a person and as a student in high school. Uh, and beyond the community, the skills that FBLA, PBL, and career and technical education has taught me over the years, whether it's just being able to speak out in public or the business skills like accounting, um, have really been informative and educational. Corbin? Thank you, Ms. Mothers and Euro, and happy FBLA PBL week, everyone. Um, I echo what Euro said about finding a community, um, but then I also say what FBLA PBL and CTE have done for me is really helped me build my confidence, my professional and my personal skills. Um, a great example I like to use is back in sixth grade when I first ever interviewed for a local officer position. Uh, instead of looking at the interviewers in the eyes and, and responding to their questions coherently, I couldn't stop staring at the bookshelf that was next to me in the room we were in. Um, and fast forward today through a lot of time in FBLA, PPL, PBL, and CTE, and I can confidently speak in front of an audience and interact with people uh, and, and get things done with, with teams. So it's just been great. And again, though, the community is what's been there along uh, the whole ride. So happy to be here. Thanks to both of you for sharing your stories, and those are some really great stories. And I'm sure many of many of you out there have some similar stories. So please share them with us. We'd love to hear them. Um, now here's our FBLA national president, Euro Wang, to give you a little bit of our history. Thank you, Ms. Smothers. The concept for Future Business Leaders of America, or FBLA, was developed in 1937, and the first high school chapter was chartered in Tennessee. Hamden L. Fortner is the founder of FBLA. Professor Fortner developed the concept while at the Teachers College, Columbia University in New York City. And he envisioned a national organization that would unite the thousands of business clubs in the nation's high schools and colleges. In 1958, the first collegiate chapter of Phi Beta Lambda or PBL was chartered in Iowa. In 1969, FBLA PBL was granted independent status as a nonprofit educational student association under Internal Revenue Code 501c3. At that time, FBLA PBL acquired its own board of directors and full time staff, and the official articles of incorporation were signed. The FBLA Middle Level Division was formed in 1994. In 1981, the Conrad Hilton Foundation purchased 1.6 acres of land in the Center for Educational Associations in Reston, Virginia, as the site for the future, for a future FBLA PBL National Center. Nine years later, in 1990, the groundbreaking ceremony was held. In 2001, the FBLA PBL National Center mortgage was retired. 
The emblem at the lower right represented our organization in the early 80s and 90s. This emblem represented the unity between FBLA and PBL. The letters in the middle are Greek for PBL and stand for Future Business Leaders of America. Now, here's PBL National President Corbin Robinson to talk about FBLA PBL Week. Thank you, Euro. Chapters across the country are celebrating FBLA PBL Week, which began yesterday, by publicizing their activities that include everything from community service projects to proclamations from mayors and governors to recognizing the hard work and dedication of their local chapter advisors. Remember, FBLA PBL Week can serve as a springboard to, ce to celebrating the entire month of February for Career and Technical Education Month. After FBLA PBL Week, continue highlighting career and technical education by planning activities all month, from sponsoring a guest speaker at an FBLA PBL meeting to promoting green activities to your members or hosting a chapter etiquette dinner, the possibilities are endless. Remember, it's not too late to recruit. Focus on recruiting underclassmen that will help maintain your chapter into the future. Host a pizza party or a movie night, a field trip, anything fun that will help members come to your chapter. Keeping your members interested and involved is the key to retention. This month is also a perfect opportunity for FBLA, FBLA middle level, and PBL members to earn recognition by completing the BAA LEAD or CMAP programs. During this week, we encourage you to promote our mission. FBLA PBL inspires and prepares students to become community-minded business leaders in a global society through relevant career preparation and leadership experiences. Chapters do this through service projects that help their school and their community, involvement with our professional division members, career fairs, district or regional competitions, or by attending and participating in our co-curricular activities, including Lead to Feed, the Virtual Business Challenge, the Virtual Business Financial Challenge, and the Stock Market Game. Knowing and understanding our mission will help you sell the benefits of FBLA PBL to students, administrators, and your community. Back to you, Ms. Smothers. Thank you, Corbin. Make sure your school, local media, business, policymakers, and the community know about CTE Month. Invite community leaders or state officers to attend your chapter meetings and communicate with public officials by writing and visiting them. This is a good opportunity to take pictures and write news stories or to get coverage of FBLA, FBLA middle level, our PBL activities by the local television news stations. Take it a step further and make sure your chapter is in the news throughout the remainder of the FBLA PBL year. Media looks for news that is timely, includes high resolution photos, and is of interest to the community. Student award winners, group events, unique fundraisers, and projects are all great things that your chapter reporter can focus on when preparing news releases for the community or school newspaper, or even for your school or own local chapter website. Often journalists look for a hook to a story. Instruct your officers that when writing news releases, use word like, words rather like first ever, best, or largest. And be sure to share your chapter's activities with the National FBLA PBL by submitting your stories and photos for our national publications. We love highlighting the successes of our local chapters. There's still time to plan an activity for FBLA PBL Community Service Day on Saturday. You could even plan a project for later in the month and start promoting it to your members now. Service activities help your chapter get involved and contribute directly to the community. Members learn the importance of being responsible citizens and form networks with business and community leaders. Service learning helps your members learn about real world issues, concerns, and needs matches members' strengths with your community's needs, provides practical experience in planning and organizing, develops leadership skills, builds recognition and goodwill for the chapter, and teaches satisfaction of a job well done. Activities might include working with our national community service partner, the March of Dimes, your state community service project, volunteering at a homeless shelter, conducting a blood drive, developing community improvement projects, are developing a project with any other service organization. The possibilities are endless. All of your chapter's work this year will obviously lead up to the big finale, the National Leadership Conference, or as we like to call it, NLC. We do love our acronyms here. 
By promoting the NLC during CTE month, your school and your community will be aware of the fact that your chapter plans on sending representatives to this year's event. Promotion is especially helpful when you're looking for funding to attend. The best and the brightest of FBLA and PBL convene to compete, network, run for national office, and learn about leadership and careers through workshops and exhibits. Even if you don't qualify for a national competition, there's still something for you. With our workshops, sessions, NLC internship opportunities, and open events, you'll find so many ways to create, lead, and inspire at this year's NLC. This year's NLC is in San Antonio, Texas, and will be here before you know it. PBL's NLC is scheduled for June 24th to June 27th, and FBLA's NLC, which also includes FBLA middle level and FBLA middle level competitive events, is June 29th through July 2nd. Now it's time to share what each national officer student division is working on this year. Each division president will give a brief update. This will be followed by an open forum in which you will be able to ask Euro and Corbin questions. We'll begin with FBLA National President Euro Wang. Great, thank you Ms. Smothers. So this year our team has been really working to provide a lot of resources for our members. So whether that be resources on social media to from 60 Second Sundays to off frequent posts um, to resources like the chapter toolkit. We really strive to um, provide resources for our members, um, whether it's competitive events, um, to building your chapter, to recruiting, to community service opportunities. Um, something else um, is something called FBLA Connect. Uh, that's something that we've been working on. Um, it's basically an online resource library of resources and news um, that you can check out at fblaconnect.org. Something else is um, we've released something called the Government Affairs Packet. Um, government Affairs is something that, um, or connecting with your legislators is really important in um, building your FBLA experience uh, and building your chapter and in your state. And the Government Affairs Packet makes that 10 times easier. Um, and you can check that out at bit.ly slash FBLA Gov Affairs. Um, something else that I've worked on this year is something called the National Legislative Advisory Board. So the National Legislative Advisory Board is a bipartisan group of legislators, people working in government offices, and public policy think tank experts. And so it's just basically a group of people who support FBLA PBL and its mission. And it will really facilitate FBLA's experience and connection with our elected officials. Um, some other things that we've done are Parley Pro Trivia Contest, as well as fundraising events for March of Dimes. Thank you, Euro. Um, Corbin? Thank you, Ms. Smothers. And on behalf of the PBL National Officer Team, I hope that everyone's membership year is off to just a tremendous start. Uh, there's been a lot going on in PBL this year. We started out the conferences in October with our first ever PBL Career Connections Conference in New York City. And members came together for resume review, professional headshots, business tours at places like LinkedIn and Uber, uh, and, a, and a huge networking reception where we got to meet each other and meet the business community there in New York City. Uh, beyond that, at National Leadership Conference, we're working on implementing some more business tours in the San Antonio community, as well as bringing in panels to highlight small business entrepreneurs uh, in San Antonio and HR professionals there, and highlight some of our alumni to see where they're at and to rekindle that connection between PBL members and our alumni out in the world. Our March of Dime goals have been reached so far. We're happy to uh, tell you that we raised over $500 at the Career Connections Conference for our national service partner through an exclusive Broadway memorabilia raffle. We've worked on a video-based social media and continuing the Humans of FBLA PBL program. And I'll take this to shamelessly plug the Humans of FBLA PBL. If anyone listening wants to submit their story, we want to hear about you and highlight you on the national social media pages. With ACTE, Association for Career and Technical Education, PBL swept the Outstanding Student Business Student Awards. Again, uh, two of our winners, Abby Sheen and Alyssa Covert, traveled to San Antonio to accept their awards. And we have a national bylaw committee who's working on upgrading our division so that we're in line with, division, with industry standards 
and we're really standing out among other CTSOs and professional student organizations. To all the FBLA members who are watching today, I want you to know that your journey with FBLA PBL does not have to be over once you graduate high school and walk across the stage in May. In fact, for many members who loved FBLA in high school, myself included, the real transformation to a career-minded, confident leader doesn't occur until the unique opportunities offered by Phi Beta Lambda are experienced. While PBL is a lot like FBLA in regards to close relationships, community, competitive events, and leadership opportunities, PBL offers unique experiences and the ability to run a state and local chapter in a more hands-on way. The experiences offered within PBL are constantly expanding and within the next few years, PBL will be completely transformed. You don't wanna miss your opportunity to explore the career world with PBL. Regardless of your college major, I promise PBL will be a home for you. Now, here's Ms. Smothers. Thanks, Corbin. And I just want to reiterate what he said. I was an FBLA member and I was also a PBL member. So even though the divisions are alike, like Corbin says, there's a difference too. And you learn so much between the divisions. Even when you start in FBLA and by the end you finish and then you go on, your speaking continues to improve. And boy, I, I remember those conferences in those days, even though they were a long time ago, um, with many, many fond memories. So um, thank you both again. Make sure you all follow us on social media and post photos on our social media sites, especially this week. And don't forget the hashtag, hashtag FBLA PBL week. Now it's time for us to answer your questions. If we run out of time before we get to your questions, we'll email you individually. So it looks like we had several questions. We'll start with the first one. So the first question is from Jennifer in Wisconsin. She knows that each one reach one day is tomorrow and she would like some tips on how to recruit members because she finds it kind of difficult this time of the year. We'll first start with Euro to give the FBLA perspective and then Corbin for the PBL perspective. So Euro? Sure. Um, so each one reach one day um, to start is a day where each member reaches out to at least one other person and tells them about what FBLA PBL is um, and encourages them to, them to join. Um, and so something, something, that, um, something that is instrumental in recruiting at this time of the year, especially now in February, um, is that there are still a ton of opportunities available. So whether it's being able to finish the Business Achievement Awards, um, the first three levels, um, and on March 1st, so you can still compete in those, um, you can still um, fill out a, uh, your times for community service awards. Um, in a lot of states um, that don't have regionals, you can still compete at states. Um, and even if you don't qualify for nationals, you can still attend nationals um, and still experience the incredible benefits, whether it's meeting thousands of members and making new friends to the incredible workshops and attending the sessions. So really highlighting the benefits that FBLA still has to offer. Um, even in February until the end of the year is really key in making sure that you can recruit members still at this time of the year. Thanks, Euro Corbin. Yeah, and I think the beauty about each one reach one day is that if every single member were to bring one friend to join the organization, we would double our membership really quickly. Uh, so take that as a challenge if you're watching this now to get out and bring your friends to a meeting. But I think uh, one of the big things that's coming up that everybody can use as a, as a big selling point is state leadership conferences. Uh, at least from the collegiate division perspective, there's nothing that you would love more than when you're sitting in accounting class doing accounting homework or taking an accounting test for someone to lean over and say, hey, do you wanna win a cash prize in San Antonio, Texas for doing this kind of stuff? Uh, so I think that's the biggest selling point right now is that competitive events are rolling around and conferences are rolling around. So reach out to people who you know are really talented in a particular area, whether that be accounting or public speaking or any of our 60 plus events that we offer and ask them if they want to try their hand at winning a cash prize at nationals this year. Um, I mean, even if they don't win, I'm sure they're going to get hooked when they take a trip to SLC and then Texas for NLC. Thanks, Corbin. And um, remember, for those of you that are competing for FBLA and middle level, in order to compete at the National Leadership Conference, the deadline is March 1st. Check with your state if they have an earlier deadline. PBL is April 15th. And again, check with your states because some states do have earlier deadlines. And for FBLA, don't forget Membership Madness. Recruit five members and you can achieve Membership Madness. So the next question comes from Tim in Pennsylvania. 
His chapter is relatively new, and this is the first time they're celebrating CTE month. So he'd like a few ideas that wouldn't take a lot of time, but he can still do throughout this month. Euro, can you take this one for us? Absolutely. So Career and Technical Education Month, um, or CTE month, is the entire month of February. Uh, and there are a ton of opportunities or exciting um, events that you can take or you can be a part of um, throughout the month. So something that our chapter has done is reach out to local government officials and state government officials and just write a letter or take a video and send it to them explaining how FBLA PBL has affected our lives and to make sure that they know what FBLA PBL is. Something else is you can invite a business professional or someone from even a professional from, from the professional division to um, invite them to speak at your chapter or host a round table with business professionals to learn more about business skills and what it's really like in the business world. Um, those, those two activities are activities that our chapter has done. Um, and there are, there are a ton of more um, activities that you can check out on our website um, and in different resources from our officer team. Thanks, Yero. And our website, for those of you that don't know, is www.fbla.org, or you can also get there, www.fbla-pbl.org. For me, the less uh, letters to remember, the better. Okay, the next question is from Jane in New York, and she just wants to know, this is kind of a fun question for both of you. She'd like to know what your favorite FBLA PBL memory is. So it can be any memory. So we'll start with Corbin, and then we'll go to Yero. Yeah, so, oh my, it's so difficult to pinpoint one memory um, <laughs> over several years in the association. But I would have to say, um, since I joined middle level in sixth grade, I was a member of North Carolina FBLA for five years. Uh, and being an army brat, you know, we move around all the time. And so I found out that I would be moving to Illinois. And I thought, oh no, usually moving wasn't too bad. Um, but this time I would have to give up five years of being an FBLA middle level and FBLA, and I didn't want to do that. But uh, the great thing was, was that I reached out to the Illinois FBLA PBL state staff people and told them I would be moving here and I didn't want to give up my FBLA PBL journey. And um, the part that's the great memory is when they said, you absolutely don't have to, um, that I would be so welcome in Illinois FBLA PBL. And, and that's how it's turned out now. And so I think just the greater lesson that I've learned is that there's community in this organization anywhere you go around the country and even around the world in some, in some places. Um, so just finding that and being welcome with open arms when I came here, and now I have two states that are uh, my FBLA PBL family, and that's just incredible. So that's my favorite memory so far. Thanks, Corbin. And Euro, how about you? Um, so just like Corbin, um, it's really tough to pinpoint a specific memory uh, or a moment. Um, that's my favorite. Um, but I think I think my favorite moment um, or FBLA PBL memory is. Um, so I was attending uh, um, my state leadership conference, uh, and this was after um, serving as a state officer for a year. Um, and, and a girl came up to me, and, and just she just started sharing her story of how FBLA PBL really impacted her life. Um, and I, I always knew in my head how FBLA PBL or career in technical education is so beneficial um, for members and, and for me, but. I think that was one of the moments that really ignited a passion for service, um, and one of the moment that one of those moments that um, really helped me realize the value of this organization. And so that's got to be my favorite FBLA PBL memory. Thanks a lot. Those are some great memories. So the next question um, comes from the School of Discovery Genesis Center, and this is a middle level chapter, and from Alabama. So they want to know if there's a place for student advocacy in FBLA PBL. Euro, would you take this one for us? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so FBLA, um, or in FBLA, we don't technically use the word advocacy, um, or, or we don't directly advocate for specific policies as an organization. Um, but what you can do is you can definitely go to legislators um, or elected officials and share your FBLA story uh, and share how FBLA has impacted your life. And what you can do is talk about the benefits of FBLA, um, career and technical education, and how those two things really impacted your life. So while you might not necessarily be able to um, advocate um, in 
the definition sense, um, you still are able to connect with legislators and discuss how FBLA and career and technical education have benefited you. Um, a great resource for this is the FBLA Government Affairs Packet. Um, if you, I mean, it has a ton of resources on connecting with legislators, what you can talk about with them. Um, it has everything from a sample email to uh, a sample proclamation request. Um, but if you're interested in something like advocacy, that's something that I would highly recommend that you check out. Um, and you can find that at, again, bit.ly slash FBLA GOV Affairs AFFAIRS. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, Zero. And, you know, I think that really students, when they share their personal story and they talk to whether it's a local or state legislators, and I know a lot of your states go to the uh, state capitol during FBLA PBL week, you make such more of an impression on these legislators than an adult ever could because you do all have your stories and what CTE has done for you. And especially during CTE month, share your stories, not just with your state and national legislators, but with your local community as well. You know, it not only helps your FBLA or PBL chapter, it helps those business programs too. And we all know that sometimes with electives, we need to promote and spread the good word of what we're doing because we're doing a lot. And it's so really good to do this in this day and age to share the good news. I know I like hearing that. Looks like we have more, one more question or time for one more question. And this one is a little different. We hit upon it when we talked about the National Leadership Conference. And this is both for Corbin and Euro. And this person would like to know what tips you might have for members that are planning on running for either national office or state office, because you've both been state officers and national officers. So we'll start with Corbin and then go to Euro. Yeah, well, with running for national office, my first part of advice is if you have any inkling inside of you to want to do that, I mean, just the wildest dream, do it, do it do it. Um, act on that urge to run for office, whether it's state office, national office, local office, act on the urge to step up and lead in our association. Um, advice for running for office is just get out there, be yourself, throw your ideas out there and see what happens. I mean, that's the best thing that you can do. And at the end of the day, no matter what happens, what you've done is you've had a great time. You've networked with so many members from across the country and you've made a positive impact in at least someone's life just through talking with them. Uh, so I think just keeping that in mind and just remembering that nothing's ever going to happen unless you put yourself out there and make the decision to step up and lead. So I just highly encourage anyone to get out there, do it. Um, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, I didn't imagine that I would be here 10 years ago when I joined in sixth grade in middle school. Um, but that's what happens when you just act on your urges. Don't let them go, uh, go to waste and don't let your ideas go to waste. Put them out there and, and see if you can put them into action. Thanks, Corbin. Some sound advice. Euro? Um, yeah, Corbin's definitely right. Um, if, if you have any urge or if you have any desire for um, state or local or even national office, I definitely encourage you to go ahead um, and apply or, or run. Um, specifically on the campaign side, I think the biggest thing is finding your why. Why you want to run, why you want to serve, um, why you want this position. Um, that could be because you've had so much or so many great experiences in FBLA that you want to give back to this organization. Or, or you might um, want to uh, make speci a specific program um, much better uh, or much more cohesive for our members. Um, but finding your why will really help you outline your campaign and your platform. Um, and it, it's when you're running um, in an election, it's it's rarely about the specific details of policies or um, specific specific details. It's it's about your story. It's about how much you can sell what what your your story and your passion to the voters. Um, and really, finding your why will will help you find your story. Um, and make sure that you have a cohesive platform and a campaign. Thanks, Hiro, um, and thanks to both of you again for joining us today. Enjoy FBLA PBL Week and all of CTE Month, and thank you all for joining us this afternoon. Don't forget to post your photos and stories on our social media accounts, and have a very nice evening.
Bye, everybody.